Hey, this is Craig from the Disney Experiment. A few days ago, I had a chance to check out the Rise of the Resistance ride at Galaxy Edge in Orlando, Florida. Here are my thoughts on the experience. I want to start off by saying that I went to the park on a weekday. It's probably not as busy as it would be on a weekend or a holiday. And I also was staying on property. So my plan was to leave my room at 6 a.m. for a 7 a.m. park open. I thought that would give me plenty of time. Anything that would happen, I had some wiggle room. I also had the option to take the buses, but I decided not to do that because they're usually the lines are long and I may not make the first bus. And I think it's 20 minutes between each bus. So that would be cutting it really close. So I opted to drive. I also wanted to drive because it gave me the option to not check a bag. I wanted to go through the no bag check line, which would be a lot quicker than going in a check bag line. By the time I got to the tap points line, it took me 20 minutes to get from my hotel room to the tap point line, which was really good. By the time they opened up the tap points line, which was around 6.30 a.m., I was in the park by 6.40 a.m. And if you want, you can also wait in line at Starbucks because they are open and if you need your coffee fix, you can wait in line for that. Now that you're in the park, you cannot join a boarding group until 7 a.m. So the, here's a couple things you wanna do before 7 a.m. arrives. First off, do not be on the Wi-Fi network. Use your cellular network. It will be faster. Also, make sure if you're in a group and you have the option to use the newest smartphone available, do that. The technology is better and that will be faster. Relaunch the My Disney Experience app after you've gone through the tap points. So I've heard stories that if you had it open, sometimes it doesn't refresh. So I would do that also. Now concerning the My Disney Experience app, make sure that everybody in your group is in the My Friends and Family list. You can find that in the My Profile section of the my Disney Experience app. And they all have to be present too. Now that you have those things out of the way, when 6.59 a.m. arrives, I would relaunch the My Disney Experience app again and go to the Rise of the Resistance section and tap on the Find Out More button. And that will bring you to the screen where you will see the Join Boarding Group button, which will be gray. It will turn orange at 7 a.m. when the virtual queue is started. That's the button you want to continuously tap until you get a boarding group number. If after seven, you start hearing people cheering that have gotten boarding group numbers, you need to immediately refresh by hitting the back button, bring you back to the original screen, tap again the find out more button that will bring you back to the joining boarding group button and keep continuously tapping that. Then you should get a boarding group number. Now that you got a boarding group number, it feels awesome. You're excited, your group is probably high-fiving each other. And depend, depending on how low or how high your number is will determine when you will be going on the ride that day. There's also one thing I forgot to mention. Make sure you allow push notifications for the My Disney Experience app. That is how they will notify you that your boarding group has been called. You also have the My Status button, which will actually show you what boarding groups are called now and a status bar on how close it is for your group to be called. If you got a higher number, you also have the option to leave the park if you want. Just make sure that the park is not close to capacity because if you come back and the park is closed because it's reached capacity, even if you have a boarding group number, they may not let you back in. And when that magical time arrives and you get your notification that your boarding group is being called. If you are not in the park, don't worry. You have a two hour window to be at the Rise of the Resistance entrance. And when you get there, all you have to do is go up to a cast member. They will ask you which boarding group number you are. You tell them your number, they'll move you to the next cast member. They will tap your armband to verify. Everybody in your group does not have to be with you. If you, but of course it would be better if they were. And I would say the total of the whole Rise of the Resistance experience took me about 40 minutes from going through the whole 
queue to the right itself, which there's plenty of things to see. There's all kinds of, uh, it just went by really fast. And once you get to the ride itself, it's pretty awesome. I was able to ride both tracks. Yes, there are two different versions with slight deviation, and they're both excellent. Also, I have to admit, the cast members stay in character. It really truly seems like it's a very immersive experience. And that was my experience. If you want to continue watching, I have a point of view video of the ride itself. If not, then thank you for watching. And I hope these tips work out for you when you go experience Rise of the Resistance. Also, if you like this video, please subscribe and hit the like button. Now, let's go check out the ride. BB-8, prep the ready room for recruits. Commander 9 Nun, please report back to ITS cockpit. As you heard from Ray, I have been tasked with getting you to Vakara. 
Red 2, Blue 5, keep tight now. Let's get ready to make that jump to light speed on my mark. A botilla, better thing, huh? Black Leader, we're picking up an unusual signal. Are you spotting anything? Yeah, I see it. We'll check it out. BB-8, what do you got? There appear to be a number of small craft heading our way. Raise the shields. Secret base, and I will take it from you. We are needed on the bridge. 
cage. Keep the prisoners here. I will return to finish this personally. Securely fastened. Keep hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the transport and supervise your children. <laughs> Tell them it's a prisoner transfer. <laughs> Did it work? <laughs> Good. Now get a move on. There's a clear path to the turbo lifts at the end of the hallway. Turn right. <laughs> You're lucky it didn't spot you. Take those turbo lifts and stay out of trouble. Hey, you're not authorized. Wait, the doors are the prisoners. Get over here and touch it lock three. Cover is blown. Find an alternate route. Who picked these two droids anyway? outside the wreck. All right, nice job, recruits. Not what you sign on for, but hey, you're resistance now. 
I think I have that authority. Right, Beck? Where's the lieutenant? I need eyes on Beck. Line up. Staff for his pocket. Lieutenant Beck. Beck! Beck! They're alive! I should hope so. Great job, recruits. Thanks to your heroism, the location of the resistance bank is secure. Bravo! SR5, you too. 